how important is that rhythm um, when you're working with your snapper, your holder, and then also your own technique? Um, it's, it's big. Uh, being in a rhythm uh, is really important, I guess. Being able to trust your your snapper to get the ball there and your holder to put it down on the right spot is, is like I said, big. Uh, I mean, if you don't if you don't trust your snapper and holder, then then that that's just another element that's in your mind, and it's just gonna throw everything off. Um, I think in a lot of the situations where we've been in that that range, we kind of were you know needed a touchdown. A lot of the times we were down by a couple touchdowns early, and it was fourth and short or whatever. So um, I think those were kind of the reasons we didn't kick a field goal. But going for it, you know, definitely was a boost to me knowing that coach trusted me to do that, and he knew I could do it. And then obviously going out there and showing him that I could do it was big because now next time. We might be in that iffy situation. He'll be able to put it in my hands or on my foot and do it. Were you a little surprised that they went for it? Were you just kind of sitting there eating oranges on the sideline and all of a sudden you realize, uh oh, we were actually taking I don't know if I was eating oranges, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit surprised. There was a nice breeze in my back, so I figured he knew I, I had the range. Can you talk about the, the miss of Northern Illinois and the uh, obviously having to change the, the situation? Yeah, um, that miss was tough. Uh, it was my first miss of the year. It was a close kick from the right hash. And uh, all week after that, I had been struggling from the right hash. It was a big thing in my head. And then uh, I just really worked on it. And Thursday came out, and made all my kicks. Kicked, I guess I kicked one from the right hash. So that was big for the confidence. Uh, I just try to clear your mind and make the kick. Actually, on the field during one of the kicks, I think it was a, a review or something, me and Jim were joking about how we've had so many like injuries right before kicks or timeouts or reviews. So we've had a lot of time to think about it. But you just try to just try to, you know, make it as if it's a practice situation where you're not thinking about anything and you just go out and make the kick. Um, what, what do you mean it feels? I mean, what, what do you think is contributing to last year, the close games came out, the new band this year, it's a lot of stuff, what's happening at the end of the games? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Really. Do you, at some point, do you, uh, do you hope those games come out? Do you disappoint? I mean, when, when you're, when you miss a kid like that right after the middle of the play game, so the next week you think, okay, I don't want to come down being after you have a bit. How does that work in terms of where you Well, at Northern, after that short miss, I, you know, I was, was kind of hoping I had, you know, I could kick another one, but at the same time hoping I didn't have to. So it's kind of tough. I mean, this past week at Ball State, like you were saying, I was in a rhythm, and I, I definitely would have loved to kick a game winner. I, I felt like I would have been able to do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, three for three. 45-yarder, I guess you definitely say it was the best game of my career.